Hi, this is Marco Terranova and welcome to Simple Delicious. Today we are going to do prepare some uh, one of the uh, iconic dishes of the Italian, uh, the, the Italian kitchen, which will be Sibrin all'acqua pazza. Okay, acqua pazza is a crazy water. It's a simple, something that is uh, quite simple and easy to cook. And the requirement for these dishes they are simply um, fish stock, sherry tomato, uh, olive oil, uh, cannellini beans, um, sea, sea bream and uh, salt and pepper. Okay, and so we're gonna start now. So we are preparing our uh, sherry tomato. We just uh, simply cut by half. And then what we are doing, we are heating up the pan. Make sure it's quite hot, okay? One thing that I will require to do these dishes is as well to have um, um, uh, baking pepper. So it will avoid that uh, um, your fish is, will stick on the pan itself. Um, but if you have no sticking pan, it's also easier and uh, you will not require any grass pepper, okay? So, so we keep aside, okay? While our pan is quite hot, okay, we will place the, our no sticking uh, butter paper, a bit of olive oil. One thing that we are usually do it uh, um, commonly in our uh, kitchen is uh, to sear first the part which we will show uh, on the dish itself. And it's uh, common in each part of the kitchen, Italian, Italian uh, dish. Uh, if it's a steak, you will do the same. If it's a fish, you will do it. Uh, the, 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 the part which one you want to show, or is a chicken as well. So it's very important. Okay. We will just sear it there. Uh, we will just sear it the, the fish in one side. And uh, we will season it with the salt and white pepper, which are using uh, for fish melly. Once my protein is uh, uh, cooked up, I will uh, remove it and I will uh, proceed to uh, saute our um, our sherry tomato. Again, this is something that is uh, typical, uh, traditional in our Italian uh, cuisine. So, most probably, if you're going in Italy, you will uh, find that uh, in uh, alla ca in 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 the restaurant. So I will keep on the side the fish. I will reduce the heat. I will place a bit of herbs, okay? And then again, a bit of more of olive oil. So it will be infused itself, the olive oil of the fragrance of the, of the herb itself, okay? Then I'll add my sherry tomato, 
Every un cherry tomato. I will simply cook. Of course, again, salt and pepper. Then what they're gonna do, I will place my cannelli beans, which is already uh, cooked. Again, cannelli beans, since it's uh, a beans um, that you find mainly on the summertime, so usually you bake the, the one which are dried, and uh, uh, you have to, so uh, you have to uh, soak it in inside the water for uh, about 12 hours. And uh, traditionally, actually, you, can, uh, you should uh, use uh, rain water to keep the like, 12 hours inside the rain on inside the rain water until it being absorbed again the water and it will be easily to cook uh, to cook it as well what you have to do it you just simply add on a, on a uh, you, you you cook on a simple water with uh, one piece of carrot one piece of onion and then you remove the the water and then cut the, the the carrots and the onion and uh, and you will use for your soup or will use for your uh, main course in this case or whatever you are you are uh, um, you are planning to use as well you can use uh, of course for salad and uh, that's all so now what we are going to do we're going to place our uh, um, sea, uh, sea bread which is uh, cooked only halfway from the from the skin side okay And then, to help to cook the, the sea bream, we are going to place some fish stock. Which will give us our crazy water. Then our fish is uh, ready to cook, so we are simply place it on the on the dish, okay? So again, we're gonna use a flat dish, okay? And then we flat it. Okay. What is predominant on this uh, dish is mainly no how it is uh, look, how it is presented, but the combination, the flavor uh, which you are present on the dish. So it's not a fine dining dish, it's uh, something very traditional and a very typical one in the Italian kitchen. So it's uh, um, something that uh, doesn't really need to be presented on a special way, okay? Of course, I would say in Italy, l'occhio vuole la sua parte, which is meaning uh, uh, the high want uh, is uh, as well as uh, visual uh, uh, pleasant, okay? So you need to um, arrange the dishes uh, with the simply uh, leaves um, which is uh, will play a little bit uh, the colorful the colorful on the dish and uh, the pleasant way how to to heat you know what i mean one more things that we say in italy uh, um, you heat with the high so 
you would, the first things you're doing is you already when you see the dishes should be um, um, should be invited to be heated. And now what we are doing, we are placing uh, some uh, leaves, okay? I mainly use uh, leaves uh, such as uh, parsley. Or if I find the nice mint leaves, okay? To break down the color, you know? Not to give, uh, not to give the, the um, the nutritional part mainly, because it's just to garnish it, the dish. And then, of course, to finish a bit of olive oil, okay? And a slice of lemon. Here we go, I hope you enjoy the view of the, these uh, simply um, Italian dishes. Uh, and uh, I hope you come to visit us uh, as well. Uh, if you like to prepare from, from, my, from my hand, I will, uh, be a, I will uh, be a pleasure to host you and uh, uh, cook it for yourself, okay? Thank you so much, have a lovely day and uh, bye.